go over the edge a little bit more, try and create a design. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now in this DIY, I am going to attempt my very first acrylic or over a Dollar Tree vase. Okay, so let's get right into it. First off, I have some plastic down on my work surface to keep it clean. And this is what I use. I use this drop cloth from Dollar Tree. So I just cut a piece off and put it on my work surface. Next up, I have one of these Dollar Tree vases. And you see them all the time. I've already removed the sticker, but you guys know this vase when you see it. Most of these acrylic pores that I've seen start out with clear vases or glasses or whatever they use. For my first time, I want to try painting it first. I'm gonna start out by spray painting it, this purple, rather than leaving it clear. Now, the purple that I really want is an acrylic color, and it's gonna take a lot to cover the glass. That's why I'm going to spray paint it purple first, and then I'll come back with this Decor Art Purple Metallic Paint. This is the color that I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside, spray paint it purple, let it dry, then I'll come back in and paint it with this purple. Okay, so I pretty much covered it. I'm going to let this dry sitting this way. And then once that's dry, I'll go ahead and paint the bottom a couple more times and then come back. So now that my vase is ready, I have this Lazy Susan that I found at the thrift store and I'm going to use it. I also have a piece of cardboard. And it's actually a Domino's box. <laughs> and I'm gonna put that right there on top. And I could have used that drop cloth that I showed you all earlier from Dollar Tree, but I'm not. I'm just going to use this cardboard. And I think I probably need to add some tape to it. Just put a little tape under there. Kind of like help hold it down. I don't know if that's going to do it, but I just want it to catch most of the paint. And now I'm going to put my vase right on top of those cups. All right, so next up, I have the purple metallics that you've seen already. I have these small condiment cups from Dollar Tree. So what I'm going to do is make about three different shades of purple. And let's just go ahead and move this right here for a second. All right, so I'm just going to shake it up really well. And now I'm going to take some of the paint and put it right inside the cup. And I'm going to go ahead and grab a pair of gloves and put them on because I feel like this is going to get messy. So now that I have my purple in here, I'm just going to put some in these other two cups as well. Next up, I have some white acrylic paint from Dollar Tree. I'm going to shake it up and I'm going to leave one of my purples this color. I'm going to mix this one up. Make a lighter purple. And then make an even lighter purple. And now we are just going to do our white. This is the silver I'll be using. Guys, I've been having this paint over two years, I believe. And I'm still using it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get some silver out of here. So next up, I have some glue all, and I have equal parts of glue to water in here. And I picked up this little thing from Hobby Lobby. I mixed the water and the glue up. And now I'm going to add some to each paint. I think that's pretty good. That's pourable. You want about equal amounts here too, equal to the paint. Mix it together. I hate to lose all this paint. I wish I had something to catch this. So I have this 
I really don't want to lose this paint. So I'm going to go ahead and trade that cardboard out for this piece when I start. So I think we are ready to pour. Now again, I'm going to swap this piece out. So next up, I have this slotted pour cup that I picked up from Michaels. Let's go ahead and open that up. And as you can see, it has a spout and that's going to make it easier to pour. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour this color here. Let's go with the silver. Medium purple. And I'm just doing this randomly, but I don't want the purples next to each other. So I'm splitting them up with the white and the silver. Now I'm going to take the white, put it here. Hopefully I mixed up enough paint. <laughs> now let's come in with the lightest, more of a lavender purple. All right, so this is what we have. So let's get to pouring. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> I'm so nervous. over the edge a little bit more try and create a design I want to let that move down some before I pour more Okay, I'm just going to allow it to move down and see what it does. Wow, I'm not sure if I mixed up enough, but I really like the way it's looking. Okay guys, so I'm just going to allow this to continue to move and then we'll come back after it's done dripping. Okay guys, so this is what we have and it's pretty much stopped moving. I mixed up some more and I'm just gonna pour more and see what happens. I like what it's doing when I take it along the edge like that. Okay, so let's see what happens now. <laughs> I think I want to try and lift this. All right guys, so I'm just going to continue to let the paint drip off and then I'll come back in about an hour and see what it looks like. Okay guys, so I went ahead and removed it from the Lazy Susan. It's only been about 15 minutes and it's still dripping. So what I want to do is try to lift this up and move it to this cardboard. Let's go ahead and remove this. I'm gonna keep that and see if we can get this to move around a bit. Now I'll wipe away the excess paint from the frame and then put it aside to let it dry. Okay guys, I'm back and it has been 24 hours. This is what I have. And because I knew that this was new to me, I had a feeling that it would not cover completely. I wanted to just go through the process and learn more about what I need to do. And I have some ideas and what I'm going to do is do a series of different pours. So stay tuned as I do two more different pours in the next Dollar Tree acrylic pour video. So yeah, this is what we have. And it's really pretty like it is, but I wanted to accent it more. So I ended up adding some glitter to it 
And so what I'm going to do is go ahead and add some glitter to the side. I'm going to use some Wicked Stick It that I have here in this cup. You can also use Mod Podge. I have a small brush that I'm going to use to brush the Wicked Stick It on. And then I'm going to add some of this beautiful purple glitter that I found at Hobby Lobby. And I think they have it at Amazon too and I'll link it below. So I'm going to put that on there and then move on. Okay, so now I'll take it and open it on this side and sprinkle it right on top of the Wicked Stick It. After it dries, you can go ahead and brush off the excess glitter. Like that. Now I'll continue to go all the way around. Okay, so this is what we have. I'm going to allow this to completely dry. Then I'll come back in with a second coat of glitter. Then I'll seal the glitter and make it shine with some clear gloss spray paint. Okay guys, so I'm back and I have put on my second layer of glitter. I took a really soft brush and just started dusting around my glitter, just taking off all the excess glitter. You want to try and get it all off, which is pretty much impossible, <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. So I'm going to use this Rust-Oleum Gloss Clear to seal my glitter and to give my base a sheen. Okay guys, so here's my board. And don't worry, I'll do a few more videos on how to create a design on the canvas or maybe even another one of these little calendar boards. So I'm just gonna go ahead and this pops off. Oh, let me show you this. I made a little boo-boo. I was trying to blow it dry and I made a mistake and hit it right here. So I have a couple of different ideas on what I wanna do with it, but I won't do it in this video. So I'll let you guys know. But yeah, I'm gonna clean the frame up and do something really pretty with the frame as well. Okay guys, I'm back. And here's what it looks like after two coats of the clear gloss spray paint. It's really pretty. So what I'm going to do is probably do about six coats. Now, because I love resin, I could also put a coating of resin on there. But I know a lot of you are not using resin yet, so I'm going to do the six coats. Once I'm done with that, I'll see how much I like it. Let you guys see how much you like it. And then I'll decide if I want to add resin. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. I'm going to add this to my vase. I'm not going to say much about it right now. But I'll explain to you what it is in a future DIY. Before I add it to my vase, I'm going to add a couple of coats of the purple acrylic paint to it and then let it dry. Okay guys, so while that's drying, let's go ahead and start another DIY. I have this vase that I picked up at Goodwill. So what I'm going to do with this piece is glue it onto this piece. Once it sets, I'm going to add some of this glitter to the base as well. So I'm going to take some of my trusty Gorilla Glue, Gorilla Glue hit me up, <laughs> and put it right on the base. Okay, we want to make sure that that is centered. So now I'll let this sit until the glue completely dries. Okay guys, so I'm back and here's what the base looks like now. I went ahead and put one application of the clear spray paint on it. So now I'll go ahead and add some of the purple glitter on it. Same glitter that I used before. In this little container I have some Wicked Stick It. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush this on. I'm gonna let this dry, come back and add one more coat of the glitter and then add one final touch and be done. Again, this is two coats of glitter and then I went ahead and put some glitter on the inside as well. So I'm not going to seal this with the clear spray paint. 
I'm actually going to use my Got To Be. And the reason I'm using this instead of the clear spray paint is because once you spray it, it gives it a different look. And I want the top and the bottom to pretty much keep the bling that it has right now. And the best way for me to do that is to use this Got To Be. So I'm gonna put my mask on and spray. So now I will allow this to dry and then I'm going to wipe my vase down to wipe off the residue that's on this part of the vase. And here's my completed vase and as one of my YouTube family members would say, I think it's absolutely glam tabulous. Now initially this is not the design that I was going for but as I always say sometimes art shows us what it wants to be. This was my very first acrylic paint pour, but it won't be my last, so stay tuned for more. And because so many of you have asked for purple decor DIYs, I do have more to share. So again, please stay tuned. And before I end this video, there's something I want to start asking you guys at the end of each video, and it's going to be a would you rather question. And the question of the day is, would you rather have a personal maid or a personal chef? I think I'd go with the maid. <laughs> Comment your answer below. I think this would be really fun to read your responses. Okay, everyone. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.